Welcome to Seoul in Korea. What an absolutely incredible place this is. But um, sadly, we're not staying for long today because today we're heading to Vietnam. Hi, how are you? Just want to check out, please. Checking out? Yeah. Just a moment. Yeah, no problem. I was hoping to get a little maglev train across to Terminal 1 today, but um, it's not running at the minute. Apparently it's um, broken and it's down for maintenance. So I've got the airport shuttle instead, so we should be there in about five minutes. made it to Terminal 1 here at Incheon Airport in Seoul um, and yeah I'm flying today on an airline called Air Seoul and they're going to take me from here in Seoul of course to um, to Vietnam to Da Nang in Vietnam um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're going to be like um, looking forward to riding the Air Seoul over to Vietnam First step today then was to find an air sole desk to check me in. Right then, so before we go anywhere today, I need to find an air sole rep to check me in. So um, let's go and see where we can check in. Alright, we are a little bit early and the check-in isn't open yet, so I'm going to see if I can go and get some to eat some food or something there is a few restaurants up there so um, yeah let's go and try a little bit of Korean food before we can head through I've had some since I've been here by the way um, in the hotel restaurant last night it was absolutely amazing um, so let's see if we can get some more um, before we check in hello hi and can I order um, the B4 please one B4, one B4. Um, with uh, two waters please so two water, yeah, thank you. This one takes 20 minutes. Perfect, that's fine, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Please number one. Lovely, thank you. Alright then, so this is braised pork with kimchi. I had um, braised chicken last night, it was really nice. Um, this is braised pork. Um, let's try it. It's a little bit spicy if I remember last night. Let's see. Mm. Yes. Mm. That's very spicy. Mm. Ooh. Very nice though. And one question I get asked all the time during my travels is how I manage to learn words in all these different languages. And, and the answer to that really is um, well, I don't. I don't really have the attention span to sit and learn an entire language from scratch. But that is where this week's video sponsor, Speakly, has been really helping me lately. You see, Speakly is a language learning app that's not really like any other language learning app that you might have heard of before because, well, the founders of Speakly decided to do things a little bit differently. You see, the founders of Speakly sat down and did some research and they worked out that in order to master any language, most people only need to know a few key words and phrases to be able to piece together the much bigger language as a whole. And what that means is, is that you can learn the language to five times faster with Speakly than you would otherwise. 
That means that you could go from zero understanding of a language to solid speaking skills in that language in just three to four months. They have speaking exercises, listening exercises, reading exercises. They'll even give you music in the language that you're learning to try and understand it in a whole new way. It is super duper cool. I'm actually learning Spanish at the moment with the hope that I can finally master one language instead of knowing just a few basic words in loads of languages. Now Speakly are offering you a seven day free trial, completely free of charge, no commitment whatsoever. And then you'll get 60% off an annual subscription when you use my link down in the description below. All right then, time to go and get checked in. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Good. Can I um, drop my bag, please, for Danan? Uh, yes. There you go. Uh, yes, one, please. Okay, yeah. Two days. Two days. Yeah. Do you have any flight ticket? Any what, sorry? Uh, flight ticket. Uh, yes, I do, yes. Um, it's on my phone. So. Lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. One eleven. So, can I, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can I spend time here before I go over? Yeah. Okay. Look at the shops and things. That's all. So. Also, please wait ten minutes before yeah. around here for your baggage inspections. Okay, yes. Yes. Okay, so wait here for 10 minutes and then I can go. Wonderful, thank you so much. Have a lovely evening. Thank you very much. Bye bye. All right, then all checked in for Air Soul. Got my ticket um, and my boarding pass. Just need to um, hang around here, he said, for 10 minutes just in case there's any issues with my bag. Given my run of flights recently, I might be a good idea to do that and then head through to um, departures. It turned out that for once there were no issues at all with my bag so I headed through security to try and find a lounge to while away a couple of hours before I got my flight on the airsole. After some hunting around I finally found this lounge which would let me in with my priority pass. Oh, it's just with finger, yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I find Priority Pass really useful to be able to access airport lounges even when I'm flying on low-cost airlines like AirSoul. If you use my link down in the description, you'll get a nice discount off a membership with Priority Pass as well. come to the Skyhub lounge here in, um, in John Airport. Last time I was here, um, all the lounges were shut, so I didn't get to try any of them. And this time, I think they're all open, but I've come to this one because it was just the first one I found. Um, and it's not too bad, probably with my priority pass, you don't get it with air salt, um, with it being a low cost airline, but um, mm. priority pass, fantastic for that. Um, food selection, not the greatest. I've just gone for a bit of sort of Korean fried chicken and rice because there's not really much else and a couple of bottles of water to get me going but um yeah that's about it so um let me get tucked in and pretty soon we'll be head down to the plane 
All right, then I figured I'd better start and make my way to the gate because we've got sort of an hour until we leave, but it's going to take apparently about 20 minutes to get on the little train across to the remote pier, which is where my um, air soul is departing from tonight. Um, so um, yeah, let's go and get on the train. doesn't it? Passengers are not allowed to come back. Sorry. Right, then made it to the concourse a lot quieter over here than it is at the main terminal still busier than it was last time i came here last time i was here was in sort of july august 2020 um when korea was completely shut down you couldn't fly in or out of the country i literally had to transit here um and that was all i could do and it was deserted everything was shut but um now things are getting back to normal again which is quite nice and korea is now open to people to enter which is nice um, so yeah let's go and see if I can find me get eat there we are gate 111 ready to get on board the plane to Da Nang Incheon Airport is such a cool place for plane spotting there's so many cool and unique planes that you can see here just while you're waiting for your flight at the gate It wasn't too long before I spotted an air soul coming across the ramp. All right, so my air soul has made an appearance. It's just arrived on the stand from its last flight to take me on my ride over to Da Nang in Vietnam. Now, um, air soul are actually owned by Asiana. They're part of the Kumho group, the same as Asiana are. Um, and I've never actually flown on Asiana before. I've heard they're a really good airline. I need to try them at some point, but this is my first sort of taste into the Kumho group um, flying on air soul. Um, and yeah, it's a very late flight tonight. It leaves here at half eight and gets into Da Nang at like midnight. Very, very late night but hopefully it's not quite that long hopefully yeah, so we'll be able to um, shave some time off that flight and get us in a little bit earlier and it wasn't too long after that before the air soul staff all showed up to get us on board our flight out of seoul okay thank you <laughs> hey, thank you hello Thank you. All right, time to climb on board the Air Soul to Vietnam. Here I was then on board the Air Soul Airbus A321 and I have to say that on the inside this Air Soul was pretty nice indeed. Hello. Oh, Alright, so welcome on board the Air Soul A321. It's going to take me on about a five hour ride tonight across to Vietnam. Um, it's an A321 in A3 and 3 config, um, as most A321s tend to be. We've got some, something that's really surprising here. We've got a TV screen um, in the back of the seat. That's interesting, isn't it, for a low cost airline? I mean, I'll tell you in a little while how much this flight actually cost me. It wasn't much at all. It's a low cost airline. They've got TVs, there's a USB port here, remote control, a little cup holder. 
the tray table, little pocket there full of stuff as well. And um, shockingly for me, for a um, low cost airline, um, actually a relatively decent amount of legroom as well. Pretty decent indeed, and quite impressed so far actually. Um, the staff seems to be really nice, the cabin crew were all lovely when I got on board, um, and the crew at the gate and everything have all just been, and the check in and everything, have just been absolutely fantastic. So, um, yeah, it's a great experience so far. Um, and yeah, we've had a five hour ride, I think, over to Da Nang, just waiting for the last passengers to um, get on board. And um, yeah, we'll be on our way to Nam, baby. Pretty soon everyone was on board and it was time to push back and get on our way for our flight out of Seoul. So our route tonight then took us south out of Seoul to fly around Taiwan and across to Vietnam. Our flight time tonight was 4 hours and 29 minutes cruising at 34,000 feet. Alright, that's now airborne from Seoul on the route now to Da Nang in Vietnam. About a four and a half hour flight actually. It's come down from the five that's scheduled um, on the Air Seoul A321. And by the way, if you're one of those people who say to me all the time, we'll take a shot every time, no one says the name of the airline or the name of the destination or anything like that, um, then I'd probably stop drinking now because there's going to be a lot of Air Seoul action tonight um, on this plane. And oh, there's a nice view over Incheon Airport out the window. I'll have to get a good shot of that. So there is a buy on board snack service on there, so unfortunately um, that apparently doesn't apply to our road, they've just walked straight past us and served everybody else, so um, yeah, I don't know, maybe they'll come back later, maybe I'll get a drink of water or something, I don't know, <sighs> never mind. Yeah, it's not too bad, I mean the in-flight entertainment is just literally uh, a flight map, which is good enough for me, showing us where we are and everything. And, um, that's pretty cool, that's all I need. I'm watching a bit of um, James May on Man in Japan on um, Mama's Private on there. Yeah. That's working, working out quite nicely, I have to say. Yeah, but again, the seat's just really comfy. Um, having quite a pleasant flight so far um, on Air Seoul. I would really love, I mean, you guys know I love to do a new review, and I've been looking forward for so long to being able to do an Air Seoul new review. But um, unfortunately, as you can see, um, got some seatmates um, at the side of me, um, so I wouldn't be able to do that, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but never mind. Um, yeah, it's um, felt very pleasant so far. Very pleasant flight. You see a great deal out the window. It's um, kind of dark, and we're out over the yellow sea or something at the minute, um, making our way around China, uh, heading down towards Da Nang. A few moments later. I right, ended up ringing my call bell in the cave to um, take my order and I've just had a couple of bottles of water. Um, it cost me two US dollars. Um, they don't actually take um, foreign overseas credit and debit cards on their soul. So um, it's a good job I've got some US currency in my wallet. Um, so I'm just give them uh, a few dollars and um, yeah, my water's calm, so that's not too bad at all. Um, one thing I meant to mention earlier actually is that the seat is really cool. It does recline quite a long way. But it's one of those that sort of slides down and forward as it slides back so it doesn't approach too much onto the knees of the person in the back. Really, really cool. I love it when they do that. Um, and um, yeah, it's just a really nice idea, really. I'm going to drink the rest of my water, I think. Alright then, we've just started our descent down into Da Nang in Vietnam. Um, not entirely sure how we've ended up doing it, but we're going to be landing about an hour and ten minutes early. It's only a five hour flight. Um, and it's, we're scheduled at five hours and we're actually going to be an hour and ten minutes early. I'm not complaining, it means hopefully 
getting to bed a bit earlier tonight um, because with the time difference it's now sort of like 1 a.m. Um, on the time zone I was in and I was only just getting used to that time as well so um, yeah the joys of being an aviation YouTuber the jet lag um, and um, yeah and a lot of people ask me how I get used to it you never get used to it it's just one of them things you sort of end up just sorting it out as you go along um, but anyway um, that said having just been prepared for landing it's been overall a really nice flight. Um, Air Soul have really impressed me. I know the in-flight entertainment has not been up to much, but it's nice that we've actually been able to see where we are on the map throughout the flight. That's been quite nice. There's USB power and stuff as well, which has obviously been quite nice as well. And the seats are relatively comfy. Um, even for a tall guy like me at six foot four, um, it's quite nice and quite comfortable, really. It's like something that, um, that you get on a long haul flight with like, Singapore or something like that. Um, it's, it's very nice, very comfortable seat pitch. Um, very impressed, very impressed with Air Soul. Right, we love it too. After a flight time of around four and a half hours, I was finally able to get my first glimpse of Vietnam. We ended up circling the airport a few times due to congestion, but pretty soon we were on final approach into Da Nang International Airport. made a smooth touchdown at Da Nang Airport and taxied into the terminal and um, yeah at this point was when the engine shut down and all the lights went out due to a technical problem with the plane. It's all gone dark. After about 10 minutes sitting in the dark with the plane heating up pretty rapidly on the inside the doors were finally opened and we were able to get off the plane and head into the terminal building here at Da Nang. Thank you, bye bye. Thank you, bye bye. I soon found out that we were on a remote stand tonight and it was time to get on the bus and head in towards the terminal building. As an aviation geek, I should really enjoy being on a remote stand when you get to see the aircraft up close from outside, but if I'm honest, at one o'clock in the morning, all I wanted to do was get into a cool terminal and head across to the hotel and get some sleep. We finally made it to the terminal building and I headed inside to join the huge queue for passport control. They only seem to have one desk running tonight for overseas passport holders and as most of the passengers on tonight's flight were from South Korea, well I was in for a bit of a wait. I eventually got through passport control and in a move that I definitely would not recommend to anybody else, I just jumped in the first taxi that I found to take me to my hotel across the city of Da Nang. Uh, yes, okay. Do you take US dollar? Uh, yes, okay. Yeah. Pay money uh, dollar. Dollar, yeah, US. Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. We go to uh, Silicon Grand, uh, maximum about uh, 70, 17 kilometers. Uh, yeah, Sheraton Grand Resort. Sheraton Grand Resort. Yes, okay. Sheraton Grand Da Nang. Yes. On TR. Still there, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Go to the Sheraton Grand uh, total about 30 yeah. US dollar, no more, no fees, sir. Okay. Yes, okay. Lovely, thank you. Buy me Okay, thank you. Okay. I found out when I got to the hotel that I'd paid way over the odds for this taxi. It cost me about 35 US dollars in the end for a ride that apparently should have been no more than about 10 US dollars. But never mind, I wasn't too bothered about that because it got me straight to my hotel in time for a good night's sleep. After a taxi ride of about 20 minutes, I made it to my home for the next couple of nights, the Sheraton Grand Da Nang. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you. All right. Good night. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. 
Hello, let's check in please. Oh, this counter, okay, thank you. Thank you. How are you flying there? Uh, good, thank you, yes, good. It's late at night. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. oh, thank you. Oh. Not so hot in the evening. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. All good. Thank you very much. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group and much, much more. Thank you. And what a bonus, I've even scored myself a free room upgrade too. I have to say the Sheraton Grand Danang's a really nice hotel to stay and I really enjoyed the next couple of days I spent just chilling by the beach, enjoying my time before my next flight. Oh, well, finally made it to Da Nang, Vietnam. Oh, I've got a balcony outside my room as well. Should we go out there? I know it's like gone midnight, but we can come out there and have a look as well. Oh, amazing view, wow. Not really see much at the minute, but it's the sea down there. We've been upgraded to a sea view room. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, so yeah, that was um, quite a nice flight, wasn't it? Air Seoul weren't that bad in the end, were they? And um, they were pretty decent as an airline. And you know what, it was a low cost carrier. Honest, honestly, they were just phenomenal to consider that they are a low cost. I mean, that's a better service that you get on a lot of like full full service airlines back in Europe and in the States. And um, yeah, here that's a low cost airline with like personal TVs, even though it sh shows a flight map, but with the, all that leg room as well. That was just phenomenal. Really, really good product that Air Soul have. And um, yeah, and it's just a surprise that not many people have heard of them, even in Korea when I was there. Um, people in Seoul were like, never heard of Air Seoul before, and um, which was quite interesting. But um, there we go, we've tried them and they're pretty decent. Let me know what you thought to Air Seoul down in those comments. Um, I've got a couple of days here now in Vietnam. Um, I'm gonna be doing a few bits and pieces over here, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And if you wanna figure out what I'm doing and what I'm up to all the time and know all my flights, past, present and future that I'm gonna be taking, um, consider becoming a Patreon because then you get access to all of that good stuff as well as my WhatsApp group so you can follow me live as I travel around the world and um, yeah, and like a monthly Thirsty Thursday call that we do as well which is pretty cool um so yeah the link's on the screen now for that um thank you so much once again for watching this video really do appreciate it i'm off to get in that thing and get some sleep but um in the meantime thank you so much for watching take care and i'll see you on the next one bye for now